Hey everyone, it's Friday night. It is Dotty HD. Look what I have on my wrist. Um, bracelet that says finish strong. Actually, it's something that my daughter's got from band, but uh, it's appropriate here. I just got done doing my exercise um, challenge for NGU, and this crap always makes me sensitive. I don't know why. If I'm just amazed at some of the stuff I can do, if it's um, the pain in my knee that I'm kind of enduring through, if it's um, the fact that I want to do better in my head, but my body's not ready for that, if it's all of the above. <laughs> um, anyway. This is me. This is who I am. And I'm grateful for that. <laughs> I feel good for the most part, aside from now having a bit of a headache. Um, and my knee is sore. The good news is, the last few days at work, I have been... Um, I work in ITS, some of you know that, some of you don't, and um, I, I do a lot of things actually, but most of the time I would sit at my desk, um, even prior to this week or the last couple weeks, and I guess part of the reason for that is I figured that's what my boss wanted me doing, was sitting around at the desk um, knowing that I'm there, call me afraid to venture. I don't know. But anyways, I decided, you know what, if part of my job is supporting um, the programs that we have, the office programs that we have, and, uh, you know, helping people work through these issues, why not, instead of sitting at my desk on the phone, talk, calling them all the time or IMing them, why don't I try going to their desk? And so, for the last couple weeks, I've been doing a whole lot more of that, actually doing desk visits, and um, even more so this week. So, the past three days, I've been at the other building, and it's a four-story building, and um, I have customers on all four floors, and I was hoofing it up the stairs, down the stairs, up to four, down to one. And, of course, I was working alongside another guy um, who is almost 60 and he's been really a great friend he's like you know he's been um giving me some great compliments him and his wife both work there and uh he says you know you've been so doing so wonderful he's like i'm so proud of you and, and he's like we were walking up the stairs I think it was yesterday. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, we're on first floor. We need to go to third floor. He's like, stairs or elevator? I'm like, okay, stairs, but I just might pass out by the time we get there. And he's like, don't worry, we'll take it slow. And uh, I just thought that was so cool. And uh, my family's always been very supportive, but it's nice finding outside sources in person that are supportive like that. It feels really good. Um, and he's like, you know, you ought to think of me as like, oh, what's his name? Um, not Jillian, but I'm like, oh, Bob Harper from Biggest Loser. He's like, yeah, sort of. The funny thing is there happens to be a, you know, Bob Harper, I think is a pretty common name. <laughs> so I just thought that was fantastic. And uh, he's a healthy person. And it's just, yeah, makes me emotional. Um, I probably look like crap right now. No, I don't. I look like me. I look fine for who knows what time it is, Friday night, almost midnight probably. I'm dedicated for doing this exercise after 11 because I want to get it done on time. Um, I can be proud of that. Anyway. What else was I going to say? Tonight we saw um, 
what do you call it? Duh. Cowboys and Aliens, the movie. Have any of you seen that? I don't want to give anything away. Um, everybody's got their own opinion. But I thought it was fan freaking tastic. You know, when we first saw the previews come out, or even when we first, you know, we're like the title, we're like Cowboys and Aliens. Are you kidding me? How. It just like, okay, far fetched, ridiculous, yeah, not interested. But then I kind of heard through a few vlogs, I think it was, I know MA vlogs, I know she's a teenager, but whatever. I'm like, you know, she thought it was pretty awesome. Um, and I'm young at heart. I told my husband, I'm like, we need to give this movie a try. So we went and I thought it was awesome. I thought it was fantastic. What's not to like about, um, what is that, 007 or whatever? Um, is that what is original? Whatever, I could be all mixed up. <sighs> anyway, um, and yes, me, for those of you that have been watching me a while, yep, I cried at the end. <laughs> and I'm not going to say exactly what the story was, nothing like that. I don't want to try to give anything away. Let me just say that in the end, there was a hummingbird. And, I mean, there was a hummingbird in a different scene, too. And what appeared to look like a hummingbird to me, anyway. And it was just, that end touched my heart. I don't know why. My husband kind of like, oh. Okay, you're crying, and you know, he's like, I bet it was the part where blah blah blah, and I'm like, no, I kind of saw that coming, it was a great storyline, I could go on and on, but really, I enjoyed it, I give that movie a thumbs up, and I don't know, you know, how much my opinion really counts, because I'm not a movie buff by any means, I enjoy movies, but I enjoy them for the entertainment of them. I don't dig deep into the movie and find flaws or anything like that. I, I watch movies purely for the entertainment. I don't even, you know, dig deep and see, um, you know, the graphics or whatever. I just, I pay attention to the story and if it, if it interests me, I stay interested through the end and, um, and if I cry, it's usually because I really enjoyed it or um, because I really connected with it some way or or whatever but that movie I, I'm not sure I can explain the connection I felt I'm sure I could explain it but because the movies still out in theaters I don't want to give anything away for those that might be interested in seeing it so anyways I thought it was a great movie I give that a thumbs up I already said that but the tears are what they are. It's me. It's HD. I got sick of calling myself daddy today. Anyway, finish strong, people. It's in here. It's in here. And it's in here. It's in both those places, your mind and your heart. And if you can't connect them, yeah, you're going to have problems. All right. Peace, love, love, smiles, catch on the flip, bye.